Nucleic Acid Quantification Why to quantify nucleic acid? Nucleic acids are quantified to check the concentration and purity of DNA or RNA present in the solution mixture. It is important to know the concentration and purity of the nucleic acid for the use in further applications like PCR, restriction digestion etc. Spectrophotometric analysis is the most commonly used method of quantifying DNA, agarose gel electrophoresis can also be used to analyze the DNA sample for purity. Spectrophotometric method. Nucleic acids absorbs UV light in the wavelength of 260 nanometer. A solution containing nucleic acid to be tested is exposed to UV light and the absorbance is measured. The more light it absorbs, the more nucleic acid your test solution contains. Calculations are made according to the Beer Lambert's law. Nanodrop is a UV visible spectrophotometer device from Thermo Scientific which can quantify nucleic acid from microvolumes of 0.5 microliter to 2 microliter. Features of this product involves Direct, easy measurements in less than 5 seconds, just pipette and wipe. Measures DNA, RNA, and protein concentrations and sample purity. 260 by 280 ratio. Large concentration range, 2 nanogram per microliter to 15,000 nanogram per microliter double-stranded DNA, without dilutions. The 260 by 280 ratio tells us the purity of the sample analyzed. Pure DNA sample gives a 260 by 280 ratio 1.8 and for pure RNA 260 by 280 ratio is 2. Similarly, Absorbance at 230 nanometer is accepted as being the result of other contamination, therefore the ratio of A260 by A230 is frequently also calculated. The 260 by 230 values for pure nucleic acid are often higher than the respective 260 by 280 values. Expected 260 by 230 values are commonly in the range of 2 to 2.2. Residual chemical contamination, from nucleic acids extraction procedures may result, an overestimation of the nucleic acid concentration and or negatively influence downstream analysis. Example spectra for four common extraction reagents which, if not properly cleaned up, will affect sample purity. Checking contaminants in the extracted sample. A low 260 by 230 ratio indicates the contaminants absorbing at 230 nanometer or less. A low 260 by 280 ratio indicates the contaminants absorbing at 280 nanometer or less. A shift in the wavelength trough is indicative of contaminants absorbing at low wavelengths. The wavelength of the sample peak should be at 260 nanometer if contaminants are present the peak may shift. If the sample is contaminated with proteins or other organic compounds, the 260 by 280 ratio will vary from the above mentioned values. Agarose gel electrophoresis. It is a separation method used to separate nucleic acids, based on their size under the influence of electric current. Since nucleic acids are negatively charged, on applying electric field they move from cathode to anode. Depending upon the size of the nucleic acid to be analyzed, suitable gel concentration can be made which act as a sieve to separate nucleic acids based on their size. Purity of the sample can be analyzed using this method. Sometime contaminating DNA or RNA fragments can be removed using this method. After running the sample on gel the band of interest can be spliced out and gel extraction can be done to purify it.